Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Proton therapy is one of the most promising methods of radiation therapy. Unfortunately, at present, and until now, Russia had just two or three non-specialized, passively dispersed uh, beams. But the situation is changing for the better. Since November last year, our center started active clinical use of the first uh, national specialized medical proton complex, Prometheus, which is in Portvino. This is one of the most compact uh, units and solutions. Synchrotron with a diameter about five meters. The weight, 20 tons. The general area of the premises uh, where it could be used uh, 100 square meters, uh, fixed scanning uh, beam of protons, IMPT, the fixed and scanning uh, beam of uh, proton allows to do this intensity modulated proton therapy. And instead of gantry, there is rotating armchair, and visual control is exercised uh, with uh, the use of Keon uh, CT. It meets all modern requirements to proton therapy. We have to state that not many, around dozens of proton complexes uh, at present have an opportunity to carry out IMPT. The basis of uh, this unique distribution on energy of protons, those distribution is uh, Bragg peak, uh, the place for maximum uh, energy outflow with some drastic downfall with a versus smoother downfall at uh, photon therapy, which allows to carry out maximally precise radiation therapy. In the end of Bragg peak, there is a sharp growth of biological efficacy. That's why uh, over, uh, protons uh, are 10% more versus photon therapy. Oh, considering the resolution and technical capacities. Nowadays, we conduct treatment of the tumor and tumorous and non-tumorous diseases localized in the head and neck. Uh, for example, lesions of the central nervous system in um, uh, squamous uh, carcinoma, we can conduct uh, treatment of eye tumors, secondary courses of radiation therapy and metastasis localized in head and neck. And the green shows those uh, uh, our experience that we have accumulated now. We treated or we are treating around 35 patients. We, we have been very careful about treating them. Our first patient were in boost mode. Uh, we partially uh, used linear accelerators. Only five, ten fractions were on Prometheus, having uh, been convinced in the absence of any uh, acute toxicity, we came over to radical courses, and now we are uh, using the modes of uh, traditional and then hypofractioning modes. That's how the canyon and the uh, operator room look like. That's the uh, positioning of a patient with the MRT mask and hands mask. That's the beam output, the uh, conal tomograph and the operators room. And one, two persons are enough to make the uh, system work. I mean, two technicians, so operator plus nurse and doctor. I want to exemplify my points with the number of cases. That's the female patient, 1965-64 year of birth. She got uh, uh, astrocytoma, WHO grade 2, 3. Uh, she had the uh, Tamadel's uh, Tamadel great first cycle. 
we had the proton therapy for her in traditional fractioning with 50 gray equivalent. That's what we saw at the MRI. That's the dosage distribution. Extremely low integral dose. helps us to be quite positive about the uh, future or possibility of radiation necrosis to appear. We have quite a few, quite a small follow-up time, but the volume of this diffusion grew several folds. That's the uh, female patient with the squamous cell cancer. She had the uh, four gray uh, chemotherapy plus surgical intervention, lymphodissection, uh, and uh, she had the original lesion regression in 2016. We can see here diffusive infiltrating tumor that uh, comes close to the brainstem, quite a challenge in ge geography. You can observe a high precision of uh, geography and extremely low radiation pressure on uh, sensitive uh, organs. One of the criteria of selection is the um, comparative planning. In our center, we have electro accelerators and uh, preliminary, we make uh, planning for our patients in order to evaluate the potential benefits for patients. For this specific case, bearing in mind that that was the repeated radiation, we would have uh, overcome the tissue tolerance limit with the proton accelerated. We had a follow-up uh, after a month, uh, saw partial tumor response and decrease in linear size by 25% overall. That's the third clinical case. The patient will start with us next week, one of the most exemplifying and uh, at the same time most difficult uh, cases a young patient with uh, uh, her doma. Uh, he received uh, treatment that was uh, merely a compression one. We have extremely difficult geometry with the irregular tumor parts throughout the brain stem. 70 gray is the therapeutical dose for this type of herdoma. And uh, since we have a complex geometry, the complication risks is extremely high here. Uh, I got this picture like uh, last uh, evening. The planning took two weeks uh, on average. We managed to fall within all the limits um, by we, mm, but the pineal gland. We didn't do comparative studies because the patient was rejected at different institutions, including CyberKnife. Um, in the future, we plan to start the new branch in the local research institute. We will also continue in the town of Port Vino. We'll also start with their radio surgery and stereotaxical radiotherapy. With better equipment, we want to expand the localization spectrum, comprising pediatrics and other areas. 
What's the planning system you use? That's uh, on uh, development by Proton Institute. We use Monte Carlo in algorithm. By contrast to Pennsylvania, by Varium, that's very natural dose distribution. That's quite a challenging protocol because we can always have a beautiful picture with Pansy of Bean we would have a pretty much idealized picture but we use the golden standard by Monte Carlo and we applied it with our system and how many patients have you already treated? 25 patients in how many months since November last year? We don't have a big number of patients on a regular basis we have from five to eight but we want to have many more the problem is uh, to overcome the mistrust including our own mistrust to russian developments but uh, by gaining experience we managed to overcome the uh, mistrust and we are looking for for long-lasting outcomes I beg your pardon I thought we have uh, only half an hour to go that is why uh, Timur uh, sorry once again so if anybody has questions to Timur don't hesitate to ask I guess everybody should have a chance to ask questions Well, the economical costs of this treatment are quite uh, clear. We don't have uh, money to for radical treatment, but as far as um, metastasis tumors are concerned, here you go much more beyond the standard limits. Do you know the blochinex? Do you rely or build upon? blocking experience and proton treatment or you didn't even bother to do that we have uh, other objectives what do you mean you don't uh, aim to treat patients now i'm answering your second question there is the drastic difference between the active scanning beam and the uh, disseminated beam the uh, technologies uh, the technological advances show that there are no major differences with the scattered beam and with us we use another technology the focused beam therapy and the longest follow-up period we had is slightly over half a year and the patients uh, we are observing how no signs of late radiation complications but have you managed to have symptom free patients what are the symptoms they show the patients who got this palliative course showed the regression of pain syndrome but we have a number of different symptoms and different modes. We have repeated courses, uh, single courses, metastatic uh, patients and uh, pain patients. Now I advise you to read the literature by the Blochin Proton School. Do not dare to do everything on your own. That's just too, too bold from you. The next presentation on well, neutron therapy will be made by